Have you ever wondered where hydrocarbons, the primary components of our fuels, actually come from? This question has sparked curiosity and debate among scientists for centuries. At the heart of this mystery are two competing theories, the biogenic theory and the abiogenic theory. The biogenic theory, the dominant view today, suggests that hydrocarbons are derived from the remains of ancient organic matter, hence the term fossil fuels. On the other hand, the abiogenic theory posits that hydrocarbons could originate from deep within the earth, independent of biological material. Each theory, with its unique perspectives and compelling arguments, offers a fascinating exploration into the origins of hydrocarbons. This is no mere academic debate. The answer to this question has far-reaching implications for our understanding of Earth's geological processes, potential energy resources, and even the possibility of hydrocarbons on other planets. Stay tuned as we delve into these intriguing theories and the scientific arguments behind them. Let's begin with the widely accepted biogenic theory, which suggests that hydrocarbons are remnants of ancient life. Picture a world teeming with plants, animals and microorganisms. Over millions of years, these organic materials found their way into the Earth's sedimentary basins. There, under the immense pressure and heat of the Earth's crust, they underwent a transformation. This transformation was no ordinary change. It was a series of complex processes, including diagenesis and catagenesis, that slowly but surely turned these organic remnants into hydrocarbons. These hydrocarbons are what we now know as oil, coal and natural gas. But how did these hydrocarbons come to be known as fossil fuels? This term can be traced back to the 19th century during the early development of petroleum geology. The term fossil fuels caught on after it was used in scientific discussions and conferences. It embodied the idea that these fuels were formed from the fossils or remnants of ancient life. This concept was only reinforced when microscopic fossils were discovered in petroleum deposits, linking these energy resources directly to the ancient organic matter. So the biogenic theory suggests that fossil fuels are the result of a long natural process transforming the remains of ancient life into the fuels that power our world today. This theory, while commonly accepted, is not without its challenges. Next, we turn to a theory that suggests a completely different origin for hydrocarbons. Now let's explore the less conventional but equally fascinating abiogenic theory, which posits that hydrocarbons could be primordial substances present since Earth's formation. This theory challenges the traditional view by suggesting that hydrocarbons are not just the remnants of ancient life but could exist independently within the Earth's mantle. Imagine the Earth's mantle, deep and hot, brimming with hydrocarbons, just waiting to be released through volcanic processes or tectonic activity. This is the world envisioned by the proponents of the abiogenic theory. One of its most prominent advocates was Thomas Gold, an astrophysicist. Gold argued that hydrocarbons are produced deep in the Earth's crust and play a part in a deep Earth carbon cycle, much like water or minerals. But the intrigue doesn't stop at the Earth's crust. The abiogenic theory finds support in the cosmos. Titan, a moon of Saturn, has vast lakes and rivers of methane and ethane, despite having no known biological life. Methane, too, has been detected in abundance in Mars and Jupiter's atmospheres. These findings hint at the possibility of hydrocarbon production beyond Earth, independent of biological matter. Critics, however, caution that abiogenic hydrocarbons, while possible, may not explain the commercial quantities of petroleum found in sedimentary basins. While the debate continues, the discovery of hydrocarbons on other planets and moons suggests that our understanding of their formation is far from complete. As we continue to explore space, who knows what discoveries await us?